Welcome back to my channel and we're going to jump into some quick Lego reviews comparisons here and this is a new thing for my channel and so if you enjoy the video definitely give me a thumbs up or a comment or both definitely appreciate that and we'll uh, take a look at what we got today all right so uh first glance again they both look pretty good um i always always going to give this uh builder extra credit just from the fact that he's doing exclusively with pieces from another set um so everything you see on this pe on this kit keep in mind was uh built off of this kit uh so anyways this uh the doors are a little bit a little bit uh, smaller, a uh, little bit less perfect on fitment on on some of our gaps and stuff like that. But overall, the uh, the actual presentation is there. And um, we'll take a look at our engine compartment here. And again, not a really a design set here of uh, as compared to Lego. Um, so. Um, and, and you know, the, the quarter glasses, um, these painted pieces here that have the, the extra little white on them, um, is actually the quarter glasses on the Porsche, uh, back here on the, um, this back corner piece is what that looks like. So interesting, clever little use of that. Uh, we got a tiny little trunk. Uh, the taillights actually look pretty good, again, considering um, our model that we <laughs> had to use from, uh, the pieces from. Exhaust looks pretty good. Um, and then I like that it actually has a windshield wiper. Ugh, I'm just going to build it, collapse it here. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> I like that there actually is a windshield wiper. I think that's a cool uh, added style, stylistic look to it. Um, of course, the the fact that the windshield is significantly narrower than car than the car is uh, kind of a a downside of an MOC. And you know, the, having the actual Lego having a full size windshield um, definitely adds to the look of it. Um, the front is uh, Ford hinged, and again, we just you know have our normal trunk stuff up here. Pretty good use of, of pieces, but it's not quite as detailed as the actual um, Lego kit will be. Um, and we, of course, you know, we have a functional steering as well, which is always a cool touch. Um, so overall, it displays really nice. There's a couple little finicky bits that aren't quite as robust as the Lego version is. Um, as you can see, when I moved it, I collapsed the roof on accident by grabbing it in a weird way. Uh, so we'll take a look at the actual Lego set next here. So the actual Lego set, the trunk does not open. Uh, the engine cover does open. And we have a really nice uh, V12 in there. So that was a, a cool, you can definitely tell, comparison of our, of our uh, layout here of, of the, two, the two different engine bays. Um, how much nicer that looks. Um, also, while I was making mention of this using all the existing Porsche pieces, uh, these little edge uh, pieces here, or the angle pieces underneath, um, in the build instructions, LEGO specifically states that that is a brand new uh, proprietary piece just for this set. Uh, it's a a little bit softer, flatter angle compared to uh, previously designed uh, angle pieces. So not only did he use, uh, Fieras use off-the-shelf parts for this build or existing pieces in a set for this build, uh, Lego didn't even use all off-the-shelf pieces. They actually created new ones. So that's kind of stands for... Uh, a testament to how complicated these angles are on this build. Um, now, really, really like these doors. They're very robust. There's actually a um, a rubber band in the hinge mechanism, so it actually has tension to it as you lift it, uh, which also helps keep it in the upright position when it is open. So that's a really nice touch. Uh, and then, of course, the actual Lego set has red interior. 
Um, we still have functioning steering. Turn the light on here. Uh, we still have functioning steering, which is cool. Um, very similar looking interiors between the two cars. Um, the biggest difference is going to be on the Lego set, you actually have interior uh, door panel, whereas on the MOC, uh, you just have, well, you have a little bit of a trim panel, but again, these are limited on space and limited on extra parts, so there's a little bit of an interior there, but not nearly as much. Um, and then the front of the car here um, has a uh, opening hood this way and empty trunk space, frunk space if you will. Um, and then, you know, the headlights have a nicer look to them because again, these are not having to reuse pieces from a different build. These are pieces that are specifically for the setup. Um, so overall, just a little bit nicer, a little bit more thought out, a little bit more finesse of touches and all that. But overall, I'm really happy with this, uh, with this, net, this set. Um, as a result of building this set, now I can actually repurpose these Legos and I'll probably do another MOC of, of uh, Ferris. So uh, at some point I may dismantle this guy and build it into maybe a Ford GT or something in the future. Um, and of course, I'd, and of course I've made mention of it, but having the, uh, it's all covered in fingerprints, but having the proprietary windshield just has a much cleaner look to um, the overall aesthetics of, of the build. Although, you know, having the, the interior black trim here uh, does actually add a pretty nice touch to make the windshield appear the correct shape. And from a distance, again, this is not bad. Using the parts that he had to work with, I, I'm still impressed with that. Um, but like I said, the, the full angled windshield proprietary has a little bit of a darker tint to it as well uh, just has a nice look to it um, and then I showed you the trunk but actually having the, uh, the the mechanism of it the way it closes actually has a really nice feel to it as well and then here's the closing of the doors so they just have a have a nice feel to them a nice weight to them and like I said, overall been really impressed with, the, with this build and then as a reminder of the fact that this is an MOC uh, you have the printed Porsche crest on the the hood of the Porsche and it gets reused on the back of the car back here uh, under the spoiler so you know, it is what it is you can't really control that again you're reusing pieces but Said was really happy with the overall uh, MOC and also really happy with the uh, actual Lego set. Anyway, so that was a quick video here. Um, I will uh, do another quick video, uh, probably about my new my new uh, G wagon, and uh, I will compare that to the uh, MOC. Uh, my own custom MOC that I built of a four-door Defender, uh, as well as maybe the original two-door Defender as well. So. so, thank you so much for watching a video of mine. I definitely appreciate it. Like I said, leave me feedback. If you like this content or want to see more Legos I have um, or anything else, uh, then be happy to share with you all and answer questions where I can. But I appreciate it, and uh, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.